Hi, everybody. Hey, guys. We're going to do a little lesson right now. So my first question to you guys is, what is the shutdown? We're going to talk some politics. What is the government shutdown? Right now, our government is partially shut down. Can you see me? Right now, our government is partially shut down. And today, we're going to talk about how that impacts you. Because it does impact you. It has a trickling down effect on all of us, actually. And I'm going to propose one solution that you can implement today. But first, what is the shutdown? A control play. Yep, it is. A control play from who who is it a control play by whose game is it the government shutdown is a control play between who right now the shutdown is an argument between the Dems and the Republicans what is it over over a wall so essentially right now our government is partially shut down and over 800,000 people are currently not being paid because the Trump administration is very adamant about protecting the border along Mexico so we didn't think that this would be a big deal but it's actually a really big deal because we're headed toward a potential recession what does that mean to you? Well, if the government continues to stay shut down, you're going to see it impacting your food. For example, right now, the FDA is not regulating food. So we don't have anyone checking to make sure that it's safe because the FDA is not working. How else does it impact you? If you wanted to come to Atlanta and visit me right now, I don't know how you'd get here because TSA is not playing it right now. TSA is closed. I wouldn't even advise you to travel if you wanted to right now because our airports are probably not very safe. All right, so we have the government shut down. We have this wall. We do not know when the government is going to reopen. TSA is not safe. Our food is probably not safe. Many people are not getting paid. So <clears throat> what are the possible solutions? Well, you tell me. Somebody proposed a solution to me to fix this problem since the wall is causing such an uproar in our country and very possibly going to put us in a recession. What is a solution? I know I'm writing backwards. You guys work with me. Your curves will kill in your... <laughs> okay. What are some possible solutions? At least two extra hours at the airport. Yeah. Go to, go to the airport early if you're wanting to travel. But you still have to keep in mind that because the airports are short-staffed, they're very possibly not implementing all of the safety measures that they typically do when you're traveling. So I wouldn't advise you traveling right now. Do you guys think that the Democrats should actually... Um, agree with the Republicans and give them the funding for this wall? What do you think? Get dude out of the White House. Okay, so we'll write that down as a possible solution. So you're suggesting that one possible solution is to impeach the president. Okay, there's an idea. What else? What's another possible solution? Give them the wall. Give them the wall. Okay. Um, a third say renegotiate terms. Okay, renegotiate the term. Renegotiate the terms. All right. So they've been trying to do that. Pelosi um, has been wanting to renegotiate the terms. The Democrats are wanting to renegotiate the terms. But then we have another problem because McConnell won't bring the bill to the floor. 
That's an issue. How do we negotiate the terms when we can't get the bill to the floor to vote on it, right? So we have some um, political inconsistencies here. So what do we do about that? If we can't get the bill to the floor, then what do we do about that? Jail. Okay, no wall. Invest in our communities. Well, obviously, the Republican Party has a very big problem. They feel they have a very big problem with safety and security in our country. And they seem to feel that it stems from the Mexican border. So we're not going to get out of this without giving them something. We have to negotiate something, right? Otherwise, our government is going to go from a partial shutdown to a full shutdown. And then we're going to be in a full recession. We don't do anything. No, we have to do something because remember, we have to be safe. We have to eat. Okay, let's just think about the prisons. I thought about this the other day. The prisons are federally regulated. Let me write that down because that's a big deal. The prisons. <clears throat> the federal prisons are currently in turmoil. So what does that mean? You have federal workers in prisons, federal prisons all over the United States right now, and they are pissed. Think about, it just takes one key to unlock one door at one federal prison to ignite a national emergency, right? That's scary because national emergency gives the president 136 reasons, that's literally how many he has, to pretty much create his own laws. Yes, the, the Congress can give pushback if he does decide to do that, but he does have the power to do that if he so chooses. But I just want you to think about that concept. If we keep the government closed, the people who are working our federal prisons are gonna get more pissed. They have a lot of power. So do the people that control our food and our security, so we can't leave the government closed. All right, what else we got? They said they're planning the purge. Ah, ooh, wow. So people are actually paying attention. It's good that you guys are paying attention to some of the possible outcomes of what this recession, this pending recession could look like. Um, all right, so <clears throat> I want you guys to pay attention to the news. Pay attention to what's going on around you. Get off of social media for a couple of minutes, a few times a day, so that you can actually pay attention to how this recession could potentially impact you and your families. Okay, so what does this mean for you, right? Well, it means that... It means that your job can be impacted. It means that your paychecks can be impacted. So... Now is a really good time for you to take control of your own brand and think about how you can monopolize on yourself, how you can make money on just being yourself, right? So I have a way that you can do that. I actually told a story for the first time on my Instagram earlier today. I just gave you guys a tidbit into what I went through last year. And last year, I happened to lose everything that I had built. It was due to circumstances outside of my control, but I lost everything that I built. And I wanted to get it back, and I wanted to get it back quickly. So my girlfriend, she put me on to a company <clears throat> that could teach me how I can quickly repair my credit. And also, I can put a lot of money in my pocket. I didn't believe her at first because I was like, girl... If you're telling me about some damn pyramid scheme, I swear I'm gonna kill you. I don't have time for this. <clears throat> but then she showed me, <laughs> she showed me those receipts. Um, and that's what I'm gonna put you guys on. Now is a wonderful time for you to start creating your own business. You need to become your own economy, especially with all of the turmoil that we have going on in the country. It doesn't look like um, the Republicans are getting ready to bend. And it doesn't look like the Democrats are getting ready to bend either, which means that this partial shutdown could very likely 
become a full shutdown, which could very likely put us into a full recession. If that happens, you need to be in control of your own finances. You need to be in control of your own business. That way you don't have to worry about so much the things that are going on around you. So if you want to know more about <clears throat> what I'm doing and how you can be a part of my team, in my bio, you can click my link and it's going to take you directly to uh, my econ website. That's where you can sign up so you can join my team. Once you become a member of my team, I'm going to literally handhold you through the process of what I did last year to get my coins, to get this house that I'm sitting in right now, to get that car that's parked in my garage. Um, so what does this mean for you? Here we go with our notes. You need to join my team. That's what it means for you. Join my team. <coughs> join my team. And I'm going to give you some of the financial tool tools that I learned this past year. So that when all this crazy stuff is going on around us, we'll still have our shmoney. Any questions? Oh, wow. There's a lot of comments here. Well, thank you guys for turning, tuning into my quick lesson on the government shutdown. I'm glad you guys are paying attention because it does impact you. Stay tuned because it's not over. Um, and I also want you to think about what you can do to be your own brand, to be your own business, because that's going to be key in 2019, probably more than ever in any other year. So start thinking about that. If you have questions, you can hit my DM and I got you. All right. Bye, guys.